everybody. Welcome to another paranormal vlog. In today's episode, I'm going to have um, my sister call in. She can't be here. She lives in Pennsylvania. I live in Alabama. Now I've moved. Uh, as you might see my background, other than my stormy, spooky background, which I want to fix. So just give me one second. So my stormy, spooky background that I have right here, you can see so you can see boxes and totes because I had moved. This is going to be my filming craft room, my husband's music room, and our office combination. But right now, everything that we need is stored here. So hopefully in the future, it'll be nice. Now, um, usually I start this up in the fall, around the middle or end of September, October. But I had a few things I wanted to say hello first of all. It's been a while. And uh, I'm going to have my sister on again, but this is just a phone call and she didn't want to go on uh, Skype and be on camera right now. She said her hair was a mess and she was busy and she was in the middle of doing things and she has to leave for work tomorrow. She travels for work. And in this video, she's just going to talk about a few things that happened uh, when we were growing up paranormal in our house. Uh, and a few of her personal incidences, and then something that happened recently. She usually goes, takes care of a lady out on Long Island that lives in the Hamptons. It's a big old giant house. And um, she stays there for about two weeks or so and cares for her so she's not alone. And there was an experience there. She says the house is kind of creepy and spooky. It's a nice big house. It's in the Hamptons, but there's just something about it and the people there and but you know it's her job she has to do it so she's going to be discussing uh she likes the lady and all but you know it's just it's her job she has to go there <laughs> so there is uh an element of creepiness and a paranormal experience that happened there and then another little paranormal experience and she's going to be discussing that on the phone call on this episode so i hopefully will be back with more and hopefully i'll have her on another time and hopefully on camera so i'm going to put that in here right now our phone call and then i'll come right back on when it's done i'm here with my sister and um she's gonna we're gonna she's gonna talk about her most recent paranormal experience okay so go ahead Yes, I was at someone's house out east, um, and there was another girl there that helps out, and she was in the other room, I was in another room, in the bedroom sleeping, and she comes running in, and I'm like, what's the matter? And she goes, I'm not sleeping in that room. The whole bed was shaking, and someone was shaking me, the whole bed, like underneath. She says, I'm not going in that room. I have no idea why, it was the scariest thing. Okay, but didn't you say she saw something and describe what she saw? Yeah, she saw a black shadow. But didn't you say it was like curling on the floor and running after her? Yeah, it was curling on the floor. Okay, well, experience, well, just tell the rest of your experience. Like, she came in the room, like, go step by step. Yeah, she came in the room and I said, what's the matter? She was frightened and she goes, well, I saw this dark shadow crawling on the floor. I'm like, what is it? She goes, I don't know, but my whole bed was shaking, and it was shaking it from underneath, and someone was shaking her. So she came in, and she slept in the bedroom that I was in. What could that be? Okay, now, uh, you said something else happened in addition to that another time over there. What happened? Oh, yes. I was on in the deck, and it was like everything staying still and uh, it started raining but not on the deck where I was and then there was a cardinal on the deck just staring at me but I felt like I was not there it was so weird and this is at the same person's house correct same person's house yes okay so to explain my sister takes care of an elderly woman and she travels to go see her and she stays at the house for usually what two weeks yeah Okay, and would you uh, describe the house as old and creepy, or is it big? What What's the house like? It's it's big. It's a big ranch. It has built a pool. It's out in the Hamptons. Okay, so is it older? Uh, like in the 50s. Oh, okay. 
So no other experiences with that thing that she saw? She hasn't seen it since? No. No. So does that house ever give you the creeps? I mean, like anything else other than those two incidences? No, that's it. Hmm, that's weird. Well, okay, well, thank you for that. And anyway, so I'm talking to my sister and growing up paranormal, which she'll probably be watching the vlog when I get it all set up. <laughs> um, so you have any things you want to talk about from when we were little growing up in, you know, the crazy paranormal experiences? Um, yes, in the upstairs room, I would see shadows, tall. The fifth, the room all the way at the top, because we had five floors, so it was like the, yes. okay. Yep, and shadows, and they would be writing something, like, look like a tablet, and they were dressed in black, like huddled in a corner. Do you know that many other people have said they've seen that? They've seen, uh, what, shadow-type figures writing in a tablet? Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, so, um, if, and if anybody out there has that experience, please leave it in the comments. So, um, let me see, what else? Remember that time you said you saw that gargoyle thing outside when, uh, when your son was oh. little or younger? Yeah, my son was going through some difficulties at teenager, and I come home, it was like dusk. And I'm coming home, and then I had a white fence all around those white coins. And I look, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And I just ran into my apartment. It looked like a gargoyle or something. I've never seen it again. And it was the like crouched thing. and just sitting on the it fence. It was scrap and crouched on the fence. I was like, oh my God, I think just ran in the house. So... Well, we'll have to. I know you're stretched for time, so we'll have to get together again, and maybe we can figure out the whole camera thing. <laughs> um, I was having computer problems, and um, it's you know my husband Stephen's birthday today, so I got to spend time with him too. So, but thanks right, for. Call me later. Oh, so did you like that? Was that interesting? Um, yeah. So she says that that house is a bit spooky. Uh, it's a big house out in Hamptons. If you don't know what the Hamptons are, they're in Long Island, New York. Um, she doesn't live there. She lives in Pennsylvania. She has to travel. She stays there for about two weeks, taking care of an elderly woman. And she keeps her company until I guess her son can come home from work and whatever. Anyway, that's the story of her uh, experience. Now, we do have lots more, but she was limited on time. So, unfortunately, we had to make it quick. And she didn't want to go on camera, like I said, in the beginning of this video. But I'm hoping that um, it is just a short little video, paranormal vlog, and I'll hopefully I'll have more in the future and I can get her on camera. So I just wanted to talk about that because we had many experiences that we, we shared together and uh, like the time we all saw the UFO together and the big loud noises and just a lot of other things. And if you haven't checked out my paranormal vlog videos, now's the chance to go ahead and go watch them all. And you could also check out my other channel. So please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click that bell for future notifications of when I have my new videos uploaded. And please like, comment, and share. And if you comment, even if it's just to say hello, and um, because it helps me, you know, uh, it just helps my videos to circulate. Uh, this channel is not a very big channel, but that's okay. I do this uh, as a hobby. I'm not monetized. I don't make any money off of this. I just do because I enjoy making videos and I share my paranormal experiences with you freely. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye. Thanks for watching.